Okay, here is the 60 watt solar panel that currently powers my entire greenhouse. And uh, I'm going to show you just how that's hooked up. You follow the wire, it goes under the wall there, up along the side here, and into this charge controller. The charge controller prevents the battery bank from getting overfilled. There's the battery bank, just a bunch of uh, batteries, gel cell batteries, mostly from UPSs that people had tossed out, um, mismatched, but they're all 12 volt. So they're just wired up. Um, I've got a couple of experiments going with relays, and that's why I see a few different switches here, but right now this is the main switch. Turn on and off the water going up to the strawberry towers. Now, this wire here, of course, is running to that switch, comes around, goes directly to the pump. Now, the pump, I changed the filter mechanism on the pump. Before, I just had a smaller piece of this filter material wrapped around it with a zip tie. But uh, I decided to make it a little bit fatter so that it would fit into an 8-inch pot. Um, seems to work okay. Uh, the idea being I don't have to cut the zip tie every time I clean the filter out. Anyhow, uh, this is the sort of pump that I'm running. This is my spare. That's a lesson I learned early on is don't buy one pump, buy two. Because when that one fails, I can swap this one out without a problem. Uh, I don't have to go to a different size pump or a less than ideal pump. Um, I do have another one that I've used when my previous one failed, which pumps do fail, especially when they're under the constant duty cycle like I've got it wired now, where it never ever gets a break unless I shut it off manually. Um, but I have another pump, this one here, which is actually the first pump I bought for aquaponics. Show it to you here. This one here. And it's got a you know hose barb fitting on either side, uh, garden hose fitting on either side. It takes 12 volt, like the whole system. And that's uh, actually been the most reliable pump that I've bought. But it's a little bit too beefy for my system, and it drains my batteries right away. So done with the smaller pump, less flow, but it's more than enough for this size system. And uh, of course, my duckweed growing up here. Is that? Yeah. Put together an auto filler here so that every so often a little bit of water gets dumped in. Some duckweed will go down the standpipe there into the fish tank. The fish that can get. As it is now, I just grab a handful of occasionally toss it in. There we go. We love it. Likewise with the soldier flies, although right now I have a Gatorade bottle stuck over the end of the thing. Um, just because I want to see if any are crawling out. So far, I haven't had any crawl out. I think that's because they don't like my little ramps. I'm going to have to uh, add some more material so it gets up to the ramps here. But uh, they should get some crawl off. Just 